Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning and the sun is shining. It's going to be hot today. So I want to show you guys how to take care of your aquatic plants. Now, if you're new to the channel and you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So we're going to go ahead and get started with rotating a few of these plants. And the reason you want to do this is to keep your root systems really, really um, healthy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my koi love to play in these floating plants. And unless you keep the root ball really healthy and thriving, they'll kind of die off. Now, you'll see as I walk around the pond that there's a few of these uh, aquatic plants that are looking a little tired. They're looking a little brown. So what we're going to do is walk over here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you in just a second how we go ahead and rotate uh, these plants in and out of the pond to keep them thriving. So if you look here, look at that root system. Pretty much gone. I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to show you the difference. Because what you want to do is try to get at least 30% of your pond that's covered by aquatic plants. And the reason why is it's going to do several things. It's going to create shade for your pond, for your fish. It's gonna protect all of the internal environments while it competes for the nutrients in the pond to keep your pond crystal clear so that you're not getting a green tint or algae ridden pond. So you can see I've got a lot of water that flows through my vegetation up there and that really consists of some wisteria. There's a can of lily in there. There's hyacinth lettuce, uh, lilies, um, there's all kinds of different irises, there's all kinds of different stuff up in my bog pond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you guys the difference in the root system. As I put these in here, I'm going to go ahead and rotate these and you can see the difference in color. Look at the difference between that plant and the plant that I just put in there. And that's because the koi are eating the roots. So what I like to do is once a month, I look at the difference between a thriving hyacinth and that root ball compares to the one I just put in there. Huge, huge difference. And so this will help keep that cycle going in terms of the growth in your pond. So I just drop it in there. And you can see these over here are looking a little bit tired. And the difference is really noticeable if you look on top of that waterfall there compares to in the pond there. The color, the vibrance, the health look of the actual aquatic plant is crazy different. So just want to make sure that you keep rotating your plants. The goal for me is always to have at least 30 to 40 percent of my pond covered. Uh, on top of the water with these plants because it promotes, like I say, the good ecosystem and uh, we've got everything that thrives like it should be as opposed to dying off because the darn koi keep eating the roots. So, got to pay attention to that, guys. It's real easy to do and it just keeps everything looking good and being healthy. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and until next time, Anybody can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one, and that someone special is you.